airline industry, as you guys know, I'm a pilot. And we can carry guns nowadays. But you know, if I shoot a terrorist, I have to make sure that it was a government issued bullet that hits that guy. <laughs> Huh? Also, uh, we have this funnel cup here. This is somebody who's put a donation into the uh, funnel cup here also. And uh, we've got just a few minutes here before John comes down. Bobby's worked really hard on this auction. So Mary Kay and Ashley's up to 40 uh, bucks Thank now. Dale Earnhardt and Stained Glass. You want to be safe in your little pilot case. Good morning. Welcome to the shrimp fest. I'm going to have one. Wow. I'm having a goma piled shrimp. Cheers, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. I, I, I really was trying to figure out what Ed's plan was this year. Never in the, my wildest dreams did I believe shrimp would be the uh, on the menu. Oh, really? Although it's not on the menu, is it? it it's you, you're the on the menu. I'm on the menu. All right, so, wow, this is amazing. All right, what we're doing this year, John, we have set up a bedtime story for you. But don't worry, we promise there's no berries. Good. And you will not be laid out on the floor getting your spine adjusted. Fantastic. So, did you see the poster over here? What poster? Come on over here. Herr Oswald, the evil bar manager, a dictatorial bar manager, reaches a bit of end on a mild mannered bar waiter. Oh my god. Until the day he faced off against a bollock kicking English chap with a knife. Karate Cruiser Who did this? Lance Gunberg had that out did, the yes. evening that you posted your blog about that story. Oh my god. Aslin, the mild man. Oh, and he even got the right name on there. Yeah, well, he's Goodness. our pro. This was the, uh, the. do you know what this is referring to? Yes, mm -hmm. we read your blog. Yeah, I know you read my blog. <laughs> just to let you know. Wait, for those of you who don't, just this this is brilliant. He's, he's an amazing guy. This was when I got fired uh, by Carnival as, as in the bar department because the bar manager at the time was was shaking and, and slapping a bar waiter for dropping a load of drinks on the floor. So I, I lost my job and he lost his nose. That's, and that's, that's yours and we got a And then I was hired room. the next day as a social host, so there you go. There you go, that's fantastic. Bruce. Okay, so now we know the basis of the, the story. This is our, obviously, John, karate cruise director. So here we are, standing on the edge of the beautiful beach, overlooking the ocean. What's the ocean full of? Uh, the ocean's full of uh, sewage. Uh, oh. oh, oh, you mean uh, 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 the environmental office or something like that? Right? Um, the, answer, the answer is shrimp. John. I, oh, shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. shrimp. The answer is shrimp. We're not eating it anymore. 
<laughs> All right, so here we are looking over this big, beautiful, sparkling ocean. Oh, a trash can's flying out of it. Oh, no. You might have to put your copy down, so we need, to pick oh. we need you to pick that up and read it. You want me to bend over this early in the morning? Yeah, bend over, John. Where's the gun? Just making sure Calvin's flying over there. So oh, God. Oh, God. Thanks for the view. It says, suddenly, up onto the beach, watched a piece of paper. The cruise director bent down and picked it up. What would it say? <gasps> Don't read it down, please. It says, Please, please save us. Please save us from the evil beards that have lost their minds. Please find King Neptune, our ruler and protector. Please, please be our hero. Save the shrimp. Oh, we've got a script and everything. This is brilliant. Okay, so we're just going to have little rules here, so... So we have some rules and we have some man laws here, okay? So we're gonna lay down the man laws. Right. The number one rule is, there is no rule today for me. Uh-oh. Man law number two, have some fun. I will, I promise, I promise, Bruce, yes. So, John. Yes. Is it good that, a, being a man from a kingdom country, mm. is it good that a commoner is a hero? Yes. The answer is no, John. Oh, it's not. So what's going to happen here? Oh, here. God, he's not going to do something with his pitchfork, is he? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be visited by three beautiful angels that have come down upon high, and they are going to anoint you a prince. Now, so you can be a common hero. Oh, wonderful. Who's that then? So our angels are going to be Jennifer Hug, Sharon Mills, and Penny Bradford. Thank you. Would you hold that for me? Now, I know you are the king of the of knowing the beards, but my beards put these together. Yes. With the help of Lance. With the help of who? Lance. Lance. Right. And also, uh, we do have some to take home to Heidi and Kai as well. Wow. So here are their shirts. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, <laughs> you got shirts for them as well. Yes, because you know they were supposed to be here, so I we know. wanted them to have shirts as well. Oh look. So that's Heidi's, Fantastic. and of course the small one is Kai's. That shrimp kicks ass. Arse. <laughs> this, I can't wait. This will be the, my, my, it'll be my daughter's first T-shirt with the word ass on it. Artie <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Lovely. Thank you, Jen. Thank you. Thank you. Mel, can you come and be my holder? Oh, Calvin can come, then he's closer. Can you not walk like that? You look like a shrimp. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next up, Penny is going to give you... Penny? Further your arm. Oh, lay me again, Penny. <laughs> Steve was better. <laughs> All right, now the shrimps will help protect you yes. on your journey to meet King Neptune. Protect me on my journey yes. to help King Neptune, uh -huh. right. And... This will keep, you're going to keep this safe until you get to King Neptune, but don't open it. Don't open it until I get to King right. Neptune. Uh -huh. It's from like a pass to get there. Okay, this is the pass to get to King Neptune. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get our prince crowned. Hello, Mrs. Hi. B. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, you're joking. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> FFS, FFS. <laughs> oh, I've got a cigar as well. Look at this. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? Did you, do I look stupid right now? <laughs> oh, absolutely not. Okay, I've got a shrimp on my head. All right. <laughs> Sir shrimp a lot. Our Sir shrimp a lot. I like that. Karate cruise director yes. hero. Yes. Not John. now. Very, very important question here. Yes. Is it good for a hero not to have a sidekick? No, I, every hero needs a sidekick. Every hero needs a sidekick. Yes. Who's my sidekick? Hold on, just a second. <laughs> I... Oh, wow. my God. <laughs> How in the love of God. Pepper! Hello, Pepper. How are you? 
Hello, how are you? I'm very good, Pepper. You you look good. Uh, <laughs> so what do you think of our hero, Peppa? Silly Daddy. Silly Daddy. <laughs> God, I hate you. Hello. Hello. Well, we have to do a picture. Uh, Calvin, just before we continue, I've got to take a picture. Calvin! Oh, Jesus. Well, Pepper. Stop looking. Ah. Ah. Fantastic. Pepper Pig. Where'd you get a Pepper Pig head from? She made it. You are joking. No. You made this? Yes. She's got to be one of the most talented people we have in the Evil Crew. In many departments. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I have all the pro progression photos on my iPhone. You unbelievable. Oh, unbelievable. I can't believe it. it really, I mean, it is Peppa Pig. Yes. It's unbelievable. Wow. Yes. You're fantastic. Goodness me. They will be happy. Kai, oh, if Kai saw this now, she. I know. I know. I know. I know. Go ahead, Bruce. Sorry. It's all good. Okay, so me and Peppa. Now that you're Prince Sir Lancelot, you yes. have a castle. Yes. Is your castle well marked? You find it when you get home from your quest? Uh, uh no. Okay, so Lynette Bradford's going to help you here, so you know oh. which castle is yours. Wow. Hey, Peppa. <laughs> okay, I made this for you, and um, we hear that you. You Englishmen like your gardens. We do. Oh dear. So we I made this for you, Mark. Oh! Oh look! Aww. Look at that! Aww. Goodness me! And now he's a prince. He needs a throne. Oh. So I'm gonna throw. <laughs> Boy, that's oh, oh, there's a shrimp in the toilet, which has happened a few times, by the way, because especially when it doesn't go through properly. Um, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Fantastic. I'll be. Th I know exactly where at home this is going. I know exactly where this is going. Oh goodness, Calvin! You keep sitting down. What's the point of having you? Yeah. Be careful of that. Say hello to Peppa Pig. No, no kids in it, honey. Just say hello. There's a joke about Calvin and Pork there that I won't do. Okay, here we go. Okay, let, put, put the pig down. So, God, did you like your castle? Is it like that pig? My, oh, oops, no. Did you take care of your keys? No, I left my, I've lost my key. What am I going to do? Connie Addington, come up here. Connie, I now. need the key. So there's one for you, Kai, and Heidi. Oh. And then this little. Thank Brunette. you so much. And if you can't see these Can key rings, see these they're are really, really absolutely special. stunning. She's got the symbol on the key ring for our shrimp party. And then on the back, wow. we've got the the ship Carnival Magic, the name and the date. Yeah, we got the date right. Oh, 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 the date was correct, yes. I am, well, can we give her a round of a who, did you, I don't know who made these. Did she do them herself? Calvin! Thank you. Wow, have you seen those? Fantastic. Can you give the, yeah, okay, put the pig down. Put, put the pig down. The pig's leg. Norm. So how are we doing, Peppa? You like that? I like that. I don't okay. think she made this head. How did you pack this? Was this was this did you you didn't fly, did you? No trouble. Well, you drove. Okay. Okay, we'll keep moving here. We know you guys want to make right. some progress here. So here we are, walking down the road, we come across this beautiful hotel. This hotel is serviced by our guest service manager, Bethany Greaves. Bethany! Oh, Bethany needs help. 
we've had a couple of complaints and I need you to help us decide what to do about it. All right, okay. Okay, the complaint from Ms. Beverly Hills in cabin number 90210. Ms. Hills states that she, upon returning from dinner the first night of the cruise, the cabin steward had not unpacked her clothing. Guest services explained to this guest that this service is not provided, but she ignored this and insisted it be done within the next hour and to also make sure that her day of the week underwear be placed in the dresser upon the proper order it should be worn. She also stated that the color of the tile in the bathroom shower was ugly and needed to be changed within the next 24 hours because she doesn't like the color green. And she's requesting a meeting with you and the captain to discuss these issues. Mm. Uh, uh, what would you say? Yeah. What would you I, want to well, say? I think I think we're 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 close to a fruit basket here. <laughs> Not quite sure if she deserves that quite yet. Uh, what do you suggest? I don't know. Day of the week underwear is pretty important. Well, yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, let me just explain to Calvin. Calvin, some people, some people have wear clean underwear every day. Because you're looking at me like you, you don't understand. Um, uh, you know, Al Ernst and I, we, we have a rotation of, of drawers, right, Al? Yeah. Was I supposed to be watching somebody? Yes. Oh, so anyway. What, what are you doing? She has to make sure she has the right day on. Oh, have you got the right day? I'm wearing today's, yes. So we'll do all we can for her. Okay. Yesterday's too, right? Yes, yeah, inside out magic Tomorrow. chair. As long as all your underwear says today, you're always good. That's right. Okay, one more, but we got one request. You and Tony now is going back and forth on Facebook, so we want this answer in proper English. What, what answer? The, the answer to this? The answer to this question. To the next complaint. Okay, go ahead then. Proper in proper English, English. alright. Okay, Mr. Chris P. Bacon in cabin E843, he ate for three people. He came to guest service to complain that the breakfast on the Lido's deck, the server would not give him enough pork strips with his omelet. When the server asked him what he meant by pork strips, Mr. Bacon became offended and told the cook that he should know what pork strips are, and he didn't appreciate someone making fun of his last name. Mr. Bacon is requesting compensation in the form of free steakhouse dinners for the rest of the cruise. <laughs> Yes, he did say that he loved the barbecue pork ribs in the main dining room. Bugger off, 